Burnaby's. Um, okay. So, <laughs> last time, last clip you saw complete devastation. I, I tell you that that whole thing broke my crochet soul. It made me not want to crochet anymore. It made me doubt myself hugely as a crocheter. Um, yeah, it, it just, it broke me. And I, um, I was telling this to Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hootman's Crafts. Now, if you guys know who Jeanette is, she doesn't do a lot of YouTube videos anymore, but she is a whiz at amigurumi and plushies. This woman, it, she is top notch when it comes to that kind of stuff. She can look at a picture and she can make it. And she designs all her own plushies. <clears throat> so, um, I kind of leaned heavy on her with this. And I told her, I says, I'm completely broken. I'm a completely broken person right now. Um, so, <clears throat> she actually made one. And we were kind of making them together. <clears throat> and she said to me, wait, 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 hold the phone. She said, what if you <clears throat> put the crochet hook through the leg and pulled the bobble down through the other side? Well, of course, Miss Negative Nelly here was going, oh, that's not gonna work. You know, because the, I mean, it's two panels to make those legs. Right, so one side's a crochet panel and the other one's a bobble stitch panel. So I didn't think, like I thought the, the other side was going, the half double crochet side was going to be too thick and too, um, it's gonna to be too hard to pull it through and I would have destroyed the bobbles and that, nah, 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 nah. So she said, just try it. Oh my God, you guys. She saved my octopus. She saved my crochet soul. She saved my whole being, my whole crochet life. I just, I, I was gonna give up. I just, it devastated me so much that I just didn't wanna do it anymore. And she saved me that way. Why didn't I even think about it? I, I mean, I did think about it, but then I thought that's just not gonna work, right? Because it's still got the red on the top side and it's gonna look dumb. Um, well, guess what? It doesn't look dumb. Hang on, I'm parking. Um, I did it and I can live with the red on the top. It actually gives kind of a neat effect. Um, ow. I, I'll talk about my pain in a minute. Um, when I pulled the baubles through, I'm usually better at parking than this. When I pulled the baubles through, Ow. It almost made like a pop sound. Well, not a sound, but it, I could feel like a pop. And the half double crochets actually synced around the bobble. So it held the bobble in place. <clears throat> and I didn't have to worry about the bobble pushing back through. Um, and it worked out. It worked, you guys. I am forever grateful. I 
absolutely like this crippled me. Um, I can't even explain it. It shook me to my core. <clears throat> so there's nothing, nothing I can do. I mean, I just, I can't even thank you is not a strong enough word for what Jeanette did for me. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. <clears throat> so anyways, Anchor is done. Uh, or the Kraken is done. Um, I am now down at the beach to do a photo shoot. I'm hoping it works out. So let's go to the beach, shall we? <laughs> So I just found this rock wall and then the ocean in the background. This is perfect. <sighs> okay. So I just finished my photo shoot. I'll be showing some pictures here. I'm just sitting in my car, decompressing, looking out at the ocean which is something that I have not done in too many years. Can you hear the seagulls? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I have not been able to enjoy island life for quite some time. And I'm really hoping to be able to do that more when I close the shop. Right now, like I used to be, I used to come down to the beach for my serenity. Um, just the smell of the ocean air calms me. Why I don't do this more often is beyond me. Life just gets in the way and it doesn't seem like such an important thing to do. Which is stupid because that, that is part of my mental health. So, yeah, so I'm just sitting here for a second to decompress. And try and let go of <sighs> of all the stress that I had been under. I didn't realize that I was under that much stress until you guys started saying saying it on in your comments. I just kept putting one foot in front of the other and just kept going. So yeah. <laughs> you guys are keeping me accountable. <laughs> You guys are watching out for me. You're watching my back. And I love you so much for that. Because apparently I can't watch my own. <laughs> and George is so busy doing his thing. He can't even watch his own. And we're just working ourselves to death. And we're not enjoying life. You know, when it comes down to it and... Your time is up. And you look back and you go, God, I didn't even live any kind of a life. That's a big reality check. And by that time, it's too late. So. <clears throat> wow. I just, I just went on a bit of a rant there, didn't I? Okay. So. Kraken is done. Thank you. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Jeanette Masudi-Utenin because, man, 
that was just that was intense that was really intense so now it's finished and I can move on to other things I did message my friend and tell her that I couldn't do those dash hounds which really my ego just kind of took a hit there but it is what it is okay my pain my shoulder um, I don't know if it's arthritis, bursitis, uh, it's one of those itises. Um, I don't even know what I did. I think it doesn't take much for my shoulder to go all wonky on me now. Now it's at the point, <clears throat> like, I don't know, I did something yesterday. If I lifted a bag, excuse me, a bag or, oh, excuse me, I, um, I did lift a bag of groceries. That probably wasn't a good idea, but I, um, yeah, now I can't lift it to hold a cup of coffee. I can't hold a cup of coffee. I can't close my car door. I have to reach over with my other hand to close my car door. Um, <clears throat> I can't do the steering wheel very well. Uh, yeah, this shoulder's really buggered right now probably all the crocheting I did for this thing too I guess maybe I don't know <clears throat> but yeah it hurts bad bad <clears throat> so and it's just like sharp stabbing pains and it's yeah when you can't hold a cup of coffee there's a problem <laughs> so I've been putting stuff on it and trying to tuck it in so that you know, I can't even move, like I can't, trying to move my arm backwards doesn't work. Um, trying to lift it up, ah, doesn't work very well. So yeah, there's that. So all the stuff I wanted to get done today at the house I think is on hold again. I'm going to get George to help me with a couple of things tonight. He's kind of kicking and screaming through that, you know. Anything to do with fixing things or doing things around the house, he doesn't like doing it. He'd rather sit and watch football highlights or whatever. So, which next weekend is, he calls it his Christmas day. It's the start of the football season. Yay. So I'll probably be hiding a lot in my room, making eyes and trying to figure out my cricket machine if I have time off. Not if I have time to, because I I can't stand being in the living room when he's watching football. <clears throat> he's just screaming and carrying on and jumping up and down. And I told him, I says, good, you can make some hats. <laughs> and so, but um, yeah, so there's that. God, this is so nice. All right, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go to Timmy's and get, you know what, I did a hard job on this, you know, I think I'm going to go to Starbucks, I'm going to treat myself to Starbucks, yeah, okay, so, where did my sunglasses go, oh, okay, I'm going to go, I'll talk to you later.